cracks in the glass ceiling aren't enough. We need to make sure that that glass ceiling is shattered and Kamala Harris steps through. Tim Walls is hard at work on one of his most important assignments. You saw it. Kamala Harris can take care of herself. Our job is to do the blocking and tackling and cover her back. He and his running mate rarely discuss gender, yet the gender gap may help decide the election. Strong support from women has put Kamala Harris within reach of defeating Donald Trump. When we fight, we win. But with 48 days to go, her campaign is racing to win over another critical set of voters, men. It would be phenomenal to have the first female president, and um, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, also, Donald Trump is a strong president, you know? Uh, he gets things done. Anthony Hernandez, a 36-year-old North Carolina voter, is among those at the center of an intense tug of war. His ultimate decision holds clues for November. So are you undecided? Definitely undecided, yeah. I didn't know Kamala was so well-spoken, you know? That was a, a change from Biden. The Trump campaign is working to widen its advantage with male voters overall, particularly young men, with the former president deploying old-school muscle. As Democrats take a far different approach to chip away at Trump's edge, with Walls speaking directly to husbands and fathers. Do you want J.D. Vance deciding about your wife and daughter's health? His frequent retort on abortion rights. Mind your own damn business. Struck a chord with Toby Pierce, who saw Walls Tuesday night in Asheville. It's none of your damn business is, is my motto now. I think that's a wonderful way to talk about the whole abortion and reproductive rights. At a rain-soaked rally, Alex Vigil and Kevin Miller said they believe Trump exhaustion could help Democrats make inroads with men and women alike. I'm seeing a lot less Trump flags in our parking lot. I'm seeing a lot more of my staff who used to be for Trump a little more excited or a little pushing Trump away. I'm hoping that it's going to be a surprise. There'll be a lot more men than we think. This t-shirt was a gift to Bruce Sargent from his daughter after Trump was first elected. He knows he's in the minority when it comes to how many men vote. We're going to rely on a lot of the women showing now. The men just need you to stand behind those women and come out with them. It's an open question just how many men will do that. Even those here like Stanley Benedict, not fully enamored with Trump, plan to vote for him. He's got a big ego, and sometimes it's a little too big because he'll toot his horn a lot. But I, I support him because uh, of he proved himself. While the outcome of the Trump-Harris duel may turn on the gender gap or the balance of who men and women support, in this election, gender itself is far less a part of the discussion. Kamala Harris isn't talking about the historic nature of this. She just puts her nose down and does the work.